hi guys i hope you had a lovely day so today i'm going to share with you guys how i made this simple and easy dress for myself so before we get started these are my social media pages please follow me and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe so let's get started this is the fabric that i used and as you can see it's folded in half then i fold it i folded it again in half and then from that corner i now measured and this was basically my shoulder measurement plus a couple of inches i'm going to show an illustration of this measurement on my instagram and facebook and then i just i went on and then i connected that part onto the edge to sort of give that shape so as for the width you can make it as wide as you want then after that i now went on to the corner and i measured three four inches down and i also measured another four inches across and then i took my curved ruler and then i drew that curved line and then i flipped the fabric to the other side and i did the same measurements four inches down four inches across and then i drew another curved line with my ruler then i now opened it and i just made sure that the curve is looking uniform on both sides and then i went ahead and then i cut that out with my scissors then at the back of the neckline i went down about one inch and then i also drew another curved line with my ruler and then i cut so that is how i cut my neckline so there i was just basically cutting the little fabrics that i was going to use as the facing So I had the front facing and the back facing both for the neckline and then I ironed on some interfacing onto them to give them a little bit of volume and thickness. I also went on to the edge and then I folded in about half a centimeter inside and then I just ironed and I did this for the back and also for the front facings. I now went on to sew this down on the sewing machine. Now I had to attach the facing onto the neckline and I just do this by laying the right sides facing each other and then I put some pins. And then I sewed that part. So after sewing, I will now take a scissors and just make these little snips so that when I turn it inside out, I won't have like any lumps and things like that.
and then after turning so this is how it looks like on the inside and then i'll now go on to the edges then i take like a needle and thread and then i just sew start to sew the facing down so that it doesn't lift up when i'm wearing the dress i'll also use an iron to press this down and make sure that it lies flat so i just sew it down on those points and there we have our neckline so now i had these little fabrics that i was going to insert on the sides of the sleeves the pleated so i made this about six inches white but i think i should have made them maybe even four inches wide because i thought they were a little bit too long so if i were to do this again i'll probably make them a little bit shorter then i started pleating the little fabrics after ironing them in half i started pleating them according to the size which i intended to make the armhole So there are my two pleated little fabric strips for the arms then now I started to insert them onto the sides of the dress I also did the same thing on the other side. And I went on then I stitched this down on the sewing machine. So after stitching that is how they look like on both sides. Then I now went on to the sides of the rest of the dress to the side seams and then I just started to put those pegs before I sewed down. So you can also put pockets if you wish. Then I went on and then I sewed the side seams together. And I also hemmed the bottom. Don't forget to hem the bottom. And that was all. And the dress was done. This was actually quite an easy dress to make. So this is how it looks like on the mannequin when I've put a belt on. And this is how it looks like without a belt. I think it will make a really nice maternity dress. I think it will be really cute. So thank you so much for watching this video you guys. I hope I inspired you to also go and create something nice for yourself. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.